In this video, we will be covering the basics on how to use the interactive smart board and its collaborative learning software, Smart Notebook 11. Start off by turning on the smart board. Press the power button to turn it on. The button will turn green when done properly. Give the system about a minute to warm up and project the smart board logo on the screen. If you are using the classroom laptop to project your file, make sure the black VGA cable is connected to the VGA port and the black USB cable is connected to the corresponding USB port on your computer. Press the input button near the power button and select the option VGA1. The input type will appear in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Give the board about 30 seconds to connect. You should now be able to see the desktop interface projected on the screen. Open your desired file or web page. Note, this mechanism will only allow you to view projections. To annotate, you must open and create a new smart notebook file. We will expand on this function in step two. If you are planning to use your personal laptop to project your file, make sure the white VGA and USB cables are plugged into the appropriate ports on your computer. If you are using a Mac, be sure to use the Mac dongle to connect the VGA cable to the display port on your laptop. Press the input button and select the option VGA2. Give the board about 30 seconds to connect and continue the process. If you have embedded videos in your presentation or plan to show a YouTube link in class, double check and ensure that the speakers and volume are turned on. The power switch that controls the two speakers is located at the bottom of the speaker that is on the left side of the smart panel. You can manually adjust the volume on your computer or by turning this button to your preferred level. In this section, we will go over how to use a smart board to annotate your files. You will have to use the classroom computer since the Smart Notebook 11 software is already installed on this device. Start Smart Notebook 11 by double-clicking the Smart Notebook icon on your desktop. When you start Smart Notebook, a tutorial file opens automatically. You can read the contents of this file to learn more about the software and the new features in the latest release. When you're done, select File, then New to create a new blank file. All your annotations can be congregated into this notebook file before exporting. To begin annotating, open any file or website and use a Smart Pen to mark it up. Make sure to turn on the Smart Ink option by clicking the green box in the upper right hand corner and switching the Microsoft Ink option to Smart Ink. You can change the color of the pen by simply pressing the corresponding buttons at the bottom of the panel. Use the eraser to get rid of any markup. The toolbar located at the top of the page enables you to select and use a variety of commands. Hover over the tools to see their functions. To save your annotations, click the Smart Ink icon in the top right hand corner and select the camera icon. This function enables you to capture a screenshot of your entire page and automatically inserts it into your blank notebook file.
we recommend that you export your notebook file containing all your annotations as a PDF for easy uploading. Go to the menu bar and choose File, Export As, then PDF. Save this file in your desired location.